Hi there, I'm Alex from Hammer Missions and in this tutorial we will be looking at how to measure your 3D model. So as you can see here we have the mill and you can see all the yellow dots above here which represent camera markers. So the first option would be to turn off those camera markers so we can get a clearer picture of our site. That is done using this icon here which is turning yeah, hide images. So we'll select that and you can see all the yellow dots or camera markers have now disappeared. So let's roll in a bit here so we can get closer. So as you can see here, working from left to right, we have some icons. So the first icon is a height measurement. So if we select our height measurement, we can then measure the height of the structure by simply clicking the top, clicking the bottom, and either pressing the tick button or pressing return on your keyboard. And there you go, 11.95 meters. You can also look at that in full screen. There you go. I think we'll stay in full screen mode from now on as we still have our measurement options there in the top right corner. So our next measurement will be length which is also the ruler icon so again if we select that we select a point to measure so we'll go from here to here press our tick or return there you can see 17.57 as you scroll around or roll around the points will stay there so our next option is area area measurement I think we're going to measure this area here. So we select area measurement. This is slightly different. So we have to cover the whole area to be measured. And there we go. Press our tick or return. And it gives us our measurement. 23.53. Could also do that for another point on the map if we wanted to. We could measure this area here. Thirty-two point two zero. And you can see as we scroll out, the measurements stay on the map. They stay on your three D model. So our last option is volume. So we'll come down here to this pile of what looks like junk here. Select our volume icon and then we shall select the area. There we go. And then we can press our tick or return. This can take a little while for it to pick up the, the volume measurement. So there you go, 0 0.60. So now we have all our measurements on there. In this example, I shall show you how to delete those measurements. It's as simple as selecting the trash can. then selecting which measurement you want to delete. And lastly, our volume. And there we go. Back to an unmeasured model. So again, from left to right, we have height, length, area, and volume. Hope this video has been useful. Thanks very much for watching.